All right. Yeah, no, I was about no to say cloud. cloud. Dark I mean cloud. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So, first game, Smashville, it would not be a great surprise to me whatsoever. Okay. They're it's, fist it's bumping. They're it's, off it's, the races. It's to be assumed now, so. Yeah. I mean, it has been for like eight, nine years because Brawl 2, you know. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here we go. Gonna lead off with exactly the three moves I was talking right, about. Right, in succession, just literally. Yeah, yes. PK Fire, Zare, and Neutral Air, I'd say, are the best tools to combat Ryu um, for Lucas and the Neutral. Almost getting the spike there. And those three options kind of force Dark Shadows to play a more grounded game. You, you notice he likes to jump a lot and try to bait out reactions with his jump-ins and jump-aways, but gets a character like this, definitely going to tell him to stay on the ground, especially we're even seeing with the spacing of the fairs, and now the PK Fire is coming back into play. Yeah, now he's got to play actual Street Fighter, a much more ground-based approach to this matchup, I think is what's going to get him through it. Whoa, and Lucas with the, the hit perp box shrinkage from his forward air, no way. Oh my goodness, trying to go for it, but not, th not this late in percent, definitely not gonna work. That would have been the stock if it had worked, but of course, just too much knockback for the footstool to have actually grounded Shad. Neil is really looking to take out Shad right now. Sylvanas sent him into losers, King Beef almost knocked him out of the tournament, and now Sylvanas is coming back to finish the job. And we saw some absolutely nutty edge guarding from Sylvanas when he was playing Mewtwo. Kind of looked like he was a little more hesitant to do so with Lucas, just because, you know, Lucas doesn't have those crazy aerial hitboxes off the stage to absolutely end your life like Mewtwo does. I mean, besides stare and back air, not really anything else. Yeah, they're, they're not insane, you know, they're still tiny little stubby kid leg moves. But Darkshad really taking this pretty far now. Up already 40% on that first stock. And Ryu's so heavy that I don't see him dying until maybe 130. Well, no, maybe Rage could work out on uh, Sylvanas' part with a down throw up air if he's able to read the eye. I know it's fairly easy for Lucas to do that, Whoa. and it's very easy for him just to assure you do anything, especially that up smash. I've seen the up smash come out, but I I, 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 I played Chad so much that I knew he was going to do it. I've seen him assure you through everything. Jeez. Yeah, man, he had all that start up on the up smash too. Chad was just like, give me that. And there's invincibility on Lucas's up smash as well, so... Man, <laughs> just kind of getting blown out, uh, Sylvanas, in that first match. I'm not sure if I would have liked to see him switch to Mewtwo. Mewtwo does die ridiculously early in this matchup. But, I mean, after seeing that, like, it doesn't even matter what percent you die at. It's more about completing the stocks, winning the neutral. Though he is most likely more familiar with Lucas in this matchup. Do you know which matchup it was in winner's bracket? I actually do not. I'm going to assume it's Lucas since this is what he went in with. Yeah, same. I would agree with that. Like, why switch what works? Or maybe he's just trying to keep it fresh after having one with Mewtwo. But I'm assuming he did take uh, Dark Shad out in Winners of Lucas. Who knows? If he does go down another game, we may see the Mewtwo pick. Not necessarily out of desperation, but maybe to just to mix it up. Right. Definitely got to keep it fresh because once somebody adapts to your weird character matchup, you know, like Lucas, who knows how to fight Lucas? You know, I feel like that's a big contributor to why Sylvanas was able to take Dark Shad out in Winners. Right. But... After the adaptation is on, oh, okay, never mind. He's he's adapting. Sylvanas is the one doing the adaptation. Only taking fifty point two percent on that stock and is able to close it with a down throw up here. Said before, it's not too hard to read that di as a Lucas player. Again, this player has been the one to impress me the most at this tournament so far. Oh wow, just sure you, the sure you, not sure why. <laughs> Trying to dance all over his shield, but Darkshad just a little bit too patient right now. Oh, trying to go for the dare. You're saying he's not being patient. He's like, here, let me show you something real quick. I'll go for this dare. Sadly, does not get the spike hitbox that he wants, but that down tilt to Shory will do the job for him. I love how they rolled to the center of the stage in sync, and Shad already knew. He's like, all right, man, I got you in this situation for sure. And look at this. Already the lead evaporating. Sylvanas needs to get him off of him. He's trying to run away, but Shad's not letting it happen. He's doing his best to stay on him right now. One huge problem for Lucas in this matchup, though, is that he has a very slow grab, which you kind of need uh, to be able to grab Ryu to get him off of you with all this crazy pressure. If you have a tether, he can just kind of freely pressure you. I haven't seen a tether as of recent. More so just nares to catch all these aerial approach options out of Shad. And they've worked out for him, but he's going to need to land the grabs if he wants to get these kills. Such an intense standoff in the neutral. Wow, Darkshad, you know what he's looking for when he gets up in your face like that. Oh, ooh. I'm, 
I, I think it was intentional. I want to say that was intentional. He was much too far to try and yeah. go for a Shoryu. Yeah, he knew. Oh, trying to get the collarbone breaker. Just destroy this man's shield. Now it's the fight for the kill confirms right now. Chad trying to get his Shoryu kill confirms. And instead chooses the back air. And that works wow. for him just as good. You, you, saw, how well. he, Excuse me. you saw how he sunk out of the uh, red fireball and just ran across the edge. I think that was him trying to SDI, but not reacting to the fact that he had actually popped out already. Right. Then this SDI is not looking too good on those nares either. If you SDI straight down, you'll land. You'll see Lucas go True. straight forward, and you can just go for the punish right there. True. Yeah, Ryu, being that he has so much hit lag on all of his moves, you actually can do quite a bit to stop him via smash the eye. Kind of cut his combos short. Mewtwo. And there's oh, the pick here for Mewtwo. We go. Now Mewtwo, he has an air to stop focus. He can definitely juggle Ryu. He has a projectile that definitely outprioritizes Hadouken. Yep. Only problem he has is he's so light. And he's so big too. Oh yeah. Just be happy that tail is in her box as well, like a melee. <laughs> right? Oh, man. That would be a disaster. <laughs> it really would. Shoutouts to Sakurai for not doing that. Yeah, they definitely did your boy a solid. Okay, oh. wow. The roguest DP I've ever seen. And there's a Nair usage again. Both of his characters can just use Nair. Those multi-hits are going to stop that focus. But now Sylvanas trying his hardest to land. Not sweet spot sure you. So he lives another day. Mewtwo also with a vastly better footsies game than Lucas, too, and you kind of need that to contend with Ryu, who's always looking to get in your face and spam those down and up tilts. Man, right. Sylvanas has gotten so much mileage off of confusion at the edge, though. I feel like people forgot that that's a grab. Oh, just Shoryu's, and not again, it was Aerial Shoryu, so Sylvanas yeah. is fine. An Aerial weak hit, no less. That's the extra survivable right there. But yeah, Sylvanas also just showed right there that up smash is a multi-hit move as well. Wow, of and course, as I say it. Out. Yep, can't be jumping too much against this character. After they gave him that speed buff, his up smash actually sends him flying across the stage when he does it out of a dash. He didn't even need to slide right there. He knew the Chad short hopping a lot. He's right. like, dude, you gotta calm down. Again, right. play Street Fighter. You can't be jumping in on me. Exactly. Uh, Sylvan is trying to make himself look like Daigo right now. Don't jump in on this guy. Okay, and a down tilt to fair. That's like 16 damage for uh, frame six confirm. It's really good, a uh, safe one at that. Mewtwo's down tilt, one of the best in the game. But he's gonna need a lot more than, you know, bits of 16 damage at a time to take out the very heavy and very powerful Ryu, who could turn this one on him so quickly. Oh, tried to go for the nair to dare, but just air dodged out of that situation. Good call from Sylvanas. I'm not trying to eat that. He's definitely in kill percent. That's the sad part. Another, actually, yeah, now he's in kill percent. I was about to say, another good 10%. Definitely. So he's going to choose the lane game right now, just camping his platform. But those Hadoukens just eating up his shield. He cannot shield forever. He's not going to be able to stay on that platform forever. We had a dead even tie at 76 apiece, but Darkshot actually just able to walk away with it two or three hits later. I feel like I said two or three, like, a million times since hopping on this commentary, by the way. <laughs> But yeah, Darkshad, 3 0 Sylvanas. Actually, complete shutout on the other side of Loser's Quarters. A back to back 3 0 victories. Yeah. Uh, can't, Sylvanas can't be mad at that. You made top eight. You a, you were able to take out number one in Ohio in your first time playing him. You're able to send him to losers. You got that W. You cannot be mad at that.